oh, well, I think it would be unfair to draw a parallel between the pressure that she was experiencing and the pressure that I put on myself. It's quite different. Um, I mean, at that time, in Judy's time, they had much less agency over the decisions that were made on their behalfs professionally. Um, and she really, I don't know, there was so much ignorance surrounding some of the decisions that were made for her with respect to addiction and um, the psychological complications that come from that kind of emotional abuse, trying to push someone to meet the particular, I don't know, beauty standards of the day and um, under the guise of assistance. You know, here we know that you want to look like these tall, skinny ingenues, so here, let us help you. Here, this will be helpful. This medication will be helpful. And we don't want you to feel tired going through all of these numbers, and we know it's so exhaustive, so here, let us give you these pills, and we'll help you. And we'll just help restrict what you're eating because you don't want to be fat. That would be so terrible, you know. I mean, those things, we're not so ignorant about the implications of those conversations. I did not talk to Liza. Circumstance was not on my side with that. I was not successful in reaching out to her. Um, but I did speak with Lorna after the fact. Um, after we'd made the film, we met um, in a social situation, and I got to gush a little bit, which was kind of a thrill for me. Um, I apologized if it was a little creepy that I had her picture on my wall for a couple of years. <laughs>